Hi everybody, this is Steve at the Guru Brew. Everybody has these things laying around in your drawer or on a shelf or in a box. They're transformers for our speakers, our cell phone chargers, our television chargers, our routers, these things. And you know, it can easily get confused which one goes to what appliance. And if you don't understand how to read the numbers on the back, um, a lot of times they can get mispaired, not work, or worse yet, you can see magic smoke appear. So in this edition, I'm going to teach you how to pair up the transformers with the appliance. Hang tight. Okay, it's time to learn how to pair those devices to the power plug. The first thing that you want to do is look on the device that you wish to use the power plug on and look towards the area where you would put the actual plug and there'll be some numbers on there. The first thing you're concerned with is something called AC or DC. It will be clearly marked on there. And DC stands for direct current and AC stands for alternating current. More than likely, if your device has one of these power plugs, it will always be DC, but there are instances of AC as well, so make sure that that is paired perfectly. If it asks for DC, um, make sure that your little power plug says DC on it. If it says AC, make sure that the little thing says AC. That's important. The other number that we're looking for is it will usually say, um, for instance, DC12V. 12V means 12 volt, it, sh it might say 11V, might be 5V, uh, V stands for voltage and this must also match the device to the plug. Um, so if it says DC 5V, you're looking for a DC voltage of 5 volts and that must match exactly. The other things that you have to be concerned with are the plus or minus center voltage. Now, what are we talking about here? A lot of times, and uh, we'll put a little demo up here in the corner, it'll look like this. And what this means is, um, on a plug such as the end of this, there's a center and then there's an outer casing. This is showing us that there's a positive center and the outer casing is negative. And uh, generally this is the, always the case, but there are negative centers and positive casings. If this is wrong, you can blow up the device. So make sure that um, you get the tip either uh, plus or minus. It matches exactly. And there is almost always a little picture um, on the actual device or plug. So check that out. The other thing that doesn't have to match exactly but there are some rules to it, are the, uh, the requirements as far as the milliamps are concerned. Uh, when you look on the device, you'll see that it requires a certain amount of milliamps or draw from the device. And all of these are rated in milliamps or amps, and it's, uh, it has an MH. For instance, this one says 300 MH. That means that this is, will, uh, is capable of producing up to 300 milliamps. Uh, generally, the bigger in size these are, the more they produce. So, um, in theory, uh, the bigger these are, like this would be a 300, let's say this would be a 500. Um, so, you want to make sure that this is paired greater than or equal to than the device. So let's recap real quick. DC and AC must match. The milliamps must be equal to or greater than the device that you're using this on. Uh, the plus or minus must be center matched and the voltage must be the same. Hey, I hope this helped you out in determining which adapter is right for your device. So if you lose one, uh, you're able to match it back up. Uh, if you have any uh, more questions, just add them in the comment and we'll get to them. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.